Okay. The anti-Russian sentiment is getting old. It really is. Even Alex Ovechkin, a pro hockey player for the National Hockey League, is being put on blast because of the actions of one person and his military. It's getting old. Quite honestly, I'm sick and tired of the the right and the left complaining, oh, you made this generalization against us, blah, 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 blue, 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 boo, hoo, hoo. But look what you're doing right now. You're making generalizations against the Russians because of Putin's actions and his military's actions. Now Putin is saying, oh, I had him I had to invade, I had to attack Ukraine. Just because you can doesn't mean you have to. Just being honest. Just remember that the next time you liberals and conservatives, you know, the next time you say, oh, well, if you don't agree with us, you're a thug or you're a racist. Just shut up. You're not helping. You're not. You're just spouting off a bunch of bullshit that you don't understand. That's right. You don't understand. That's why you don't make comments. You don't comment on anything if you know nothing about the situation. I'm sick and tired of it. Sick and tired of it. Yeah, it's a shitty situation in Ukraine. What's going on there? And I know my thoughts are not enough. And I know that Ukraine wants help from NATO. I understand that. But I also, like I've said before, I understand Vladimir Putin's concerns over NATO. And I stand by what I said. NATO is the Fourth Reich. Now, understand, he doesn't want NATO to expand further. He doesn't want non-nuclear or nuclear uh, weapons anywhere near Russia's borders. I understand that. I understand his concerns on that. I wouldn't want uh, Cuban, I don't want Cuban or Chinese nuclear weapons or non-nuclear weapons anywhere near United States of America's borders either. What's the term? Canon uh, something. The Now there's reports of Russia, Russian uh, POWs saying, oh, we're being used as cannon fodder or something like that, if how you pronounce it. Let me hold on. Fodder. Yep. Fodder. Apparently, um, like I said, the um, there's Russian Russian uh, POWs saying, "Oh, well, the the leadership of the Russian military is treating them like they're cannon fodder and all that kind of stuff, being mistreated." They're uh, going to war hungry and all that kind of stuff. Not too sure about that. Because one, I'm not there. If I was, I would say, yeah, it's true. They're hungry and all that. But since I'm not there in Ukraine, I can't say anything about it. See, this is the problem right here. And it just 
it extends in in the area of politics and all that. Don't comment on things that you don't understand. I don't care if you're a libertarian, a liberal, or a conservative. Stop going around so uh, you know I'm so against the Russians. You know your Russophobia, whatever how you pronounce it, your anti-Russian se- sentiment bullshit. It's getting old, really. It is. And if to quote the the liberals, that's actually racist. You and your uh, anti-Russian sentiment bull crap. That, that's what you are. You're racist. That, I mean, I'm just being honest. Like I said, a guy who who plays for the Washington Capitals, Alex uh, Ovechkin, he's been put on blast because for the simple fact that he's a Russian and because of what what the Russian military is doing, what Putin said to his Russian military, hey, go go into Ukraine and start attacking Ukraine. So basically what you're trying to say is that you're going to just stereotype every Russian saying, oh, well, that's all they ever care about is violence. Yeah, that's really, that's rich coming from this, coming from the same people, the liberals who incite violence during protests that turns into riots. You're a bunch of freaking idiots. Besides, we we shouldn't be over there in Europe in the first place. I wish we had a president who actually had some balls and actually said, all right, let's just bring Every American home, every um, soldier, every person in the military that's overseas. Personally, it's no longer what happened in World War II. It happened in World War II. I'm just curious. Why do we need to have bases, military, U.S. military bases in South Korea, Germany? Or anywhere in Europe or Middle East. I don't get it. I mean, we have enough problems over here anyways. Just being honest. Got to say, you're anti-Russian, you know, the liberals and the some of the conservatives, anti-Russian sentiment, that's hatred. You know, everybody talks about, oh, well, you're spreading hatred. And yet, a month ago, or two months ago, uh, two months, months ago, someone said to me, oh, well, you're just being hateful. Oh, that's really that's real rich coming from the same person who spreads a bunch of hate who divides others and apparently doesn't understand free free redneck i remember your name on youtube i remember what you said you're the same people spreading that hatred with your you know hating on russian on the russian people if Ukraine, if the Ukraine, uh, Ukrainian military did the same thing, I'm pretty sure you would have that anti-Ukrainian sentiment as well. And quite honestly, I don't care. But I'm just going to say this. Why are, why, why, why are people volunteering to fight alongside the Ukrainians, it's like people from other countries like Canada, Ukraine, I'm mean, not in Ukraine, but uh, especially, especially in Poland, but you got Ukrainian citizens also fighting as well. 
which is understandable because they were attacked, pure and simple. But you got people from all over the world volunteering to fight for uh, for Ukraine. People from Poland, uh, Germany, um, UK, and especially USA. It's not our war. So why get involved? Hmm. I just don't understand. You know, hmm. man, not much, Paul. Just talking about people about. You know, just telling people who have this anti-Russian, that's all it is, is hatred against the Russians because of one man and his military, whatever, and all that bullshit. The anti-Russian sentiment is is nothing but hatred. It's getting old. But yet those same people say, oh, don't spread hatred, but yet they're spreading, spreading hatred right now as we speak. Uh, we're, we're against we're against Russia because you know what uh, what they what Putin did represents the, everybody as a whole. No, it doesn't. It is all bullshit. Russia and Ukraine is being played, anyways, because the rich elites they have something to gain. They have something to gain in war. More than anybody else. That's why Russia, I mean, uh, not Russia, that's why war is a, uh, uh, war is a rich man's game and a poor man's fight. Yeah, well, basically, it's gone back to, it's. it feels like it's the Cold War 2.0 right now I'm pretty sure a lot of countries hate the US and right now I'm seeing why I'm seeing why they hate the US per- personally I don't care if they hate Poland or uh Estonia or Finland or Germany, France, Spain, Portugal. I don't care. But, you know, I have to look at the facts here. The reason why, you know, some countries hate the U.S. is for good reasons. And one of those reasons is why is because... uh, the U.S. likes to interfere in other countries' businesses. They, the U.S. has this... Uh, U.S. likes to be the world police. And if the U.S. say stop being the world police, I can guarantee you that most of the problems will go away. In my opinion, it is, mostly. In my opinion, the hate against the U.S., it's justified. I might make a video about that. I'm going to sit there and say, the reason why there's some countries that hate us is because of this reason, right there, or other reasons. And I'm, you know... I forgot what country it was. Uh, A couple years ago, I saw a video, this one girl, this one woman saying, the reason why she doesn't like Americans is because she said it it seems like they like to be the center of the universe. And she's completely 110% right. Uh, 
I'm not too sure about the biological weapon thing. I'm not too sure about that. I need to do some research on that. And the thing is, people don't don't realize that biological warfare is probably more dangerous than uh, nuclear warfare. But anyways, people. You know, the same people who talk about, oh, you, can't, you don't go around spreading hatred and all that kind of stuff. Look what you're doing right now. You're hating on the on Russians because of Putin and his military. You do realize that Russians don't have a say what the military does or can't do. You do, uh, people like liberals and conservatives and liberals, you realize that, right? The Russian people who are not in the military, they don't have a say what the military can and cannot do. What Putin can and cannot do. What the head honchos of the Russian government can or cannot do. You do, re you re you do realize that, right? And it's bad enough that you got people like, especially these preppers saying, oh, it's going to be, it's going to be World War Three, guys. Who knows if World War Three is going to be conventional warfare or nuclear warfare, maybe a little bit of both. More maybe biological warfare. And the last time I checked, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Well, um, Paul, I, f I saw a, an article where the president of Ukraine said, oh, we may not join NATO. Yeah, he says that now. Oh. Zelensky says Ukraine must accept it will never join NATO. We have simply we have simply had to accept it it as it is. Well that teases that that lowers the tension right then and there, sort of. Because then he's gonna have to uh say, all right, here's a um these two uh, zones that two republics and the whatever is that what's that one uh, Crimea whatever it is he has to basically give those three areas those three regions over to the Russians. But anyways, that's what you're doing. The people saying, oh, I hate Russian, Russia and all that. You're the same people who say you could be a liberal or a conservative. You talk about unity, but for some reason, what goes on in outside of this country, that's a bigger problem what's going on here.
Yeah, I agree with you, uh, Twiggy Bones. I agree with you. If whoever it is that's in charge of saying, hey, Ukraine is a no-fly zone, if they made that decision tomorrow, that's going to start World War III. In Mother Russia, gun controls you. There's no nukes in the sky. We got to protect the motherland. <laughs> that's that's exactly what I would say <laughs> if a nuclear missile started flying. Bruh. Bruh. Yep, because uh, Putin said if NATO got involved, if NATO intervened, it's going to be World War Three, basically. I'm pretty sure the Omicron COVID-19 variant is still running rampant all over Europe right now. Just give it time. Just give it time. <laughs> well, the people who have the um, people who have the anti-Russian sentiment think he is bluffing. I wouldn't I wouldn't try them whatsoever. I wouldn't try Putin. If he's capable of making the decision, saying, hey, to, to the Russian military, give them orders to invade Ukraine, it's safe to, it's safe to assume that he's capable of pressing that launch button or turning that launch key to fire his um, nuclear missiles. And Russia has more nukes, more nukes, along with China. So the only thing that China has going for it is the manpower. And China has the biggest, um, China has the biggest Navy in the whole world. And people say, oh, well, our jets, our fighter jets are much better than Russia's uh, bullshit. I just emailed you. Well, throughout history, personally, it'd be better off. I know it's not going to happen. I know it's not going to happen one bit, but, uh, If the if France, China, Russia, UK, um, Israel, US, any other country that has nukes, if they denuclear nuclearize, 
be better off. That's just my opinion. Well, What is my email? There's my email, uh, Paul. Well, that reminds me. I see. Let's see what old ZF is up to. Big night, night. What's up, NG? And the spotlight. Uh, paycheck to paycheck. A long part of my life, we struggled, we did the best we could, and I get it. But even if you can just have a hundred dollars, just have some cash on standby. If you work some overtime, want to got a little extra money, pull it out and put it away. Uh, this particular incident, I went to deposit money, and I felt like I was a common criminal. Uh, I mean, I felt like I was a drug dealer or something. Because uh, the question after question, they wanted my ID, like I said, to deposit money. They wanted an ID for my own account that I've had for many years. And just the ways that they looked at me when I asked questions, it was like, why am I even depositing this much money? Why do I have this much money? Uh, to be honest with y'all, it was over a vehicle I have sold. And I was going to deposit it into the bank account. But... It just, I don't know. It just, it, it made me feel very, very weird. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I went and took that money back out of the bank. I didn't have to have my ID to take it out either. So I'm not too sure if you really are a cop, but now you know how it feels. When somebody like, when you, you don't like it when, Someone asked for, asked for your ID. Now you know how it feels. Now you do. Mm. Wow. I will not put any more in the bank unless it's strictly for payments. You know, a lot of payments these days come out automatically. They come out. Depends on what kind of subscriptions you have. Uh, I'll keep that money in the bank, but anything extra I make, this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it locked up in a safe, uh, gun safe, put away, hid, be your own central bank. Do not trust these people because even if they're your best friends that work in that bank, they have no control over what corporate America is going to tell them to do. This is what I'm doing. I'm not a financial expert. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just letting you know from what I see, I see darkness coming. I see collapse coming, and I see our banking industry fixing to close its doors. And I.
You see a collapse coming, huh? There you go. Fear mongering again. There you go. That's your stick right there. Yep, that's your stick right there. Fear mongering. You know, it's true that fear is a powerful motivator. It's true. But what you do with that fear, just like you do with power, that's something that interests me. There's Zombie Farmer. I see bank runs, ATM closures. I mean, I see all these things fixing to take place, and it's not safe for your cash to be inside of a corporate bank system. Uh, to be honest with you folks, uh, a lot of your money ain't in there anyway. Uh, and that's a, that's a fact as well. And when these bank runs start taking place, there's not going to be any money left in the ATMs, even if they keep the ATMs open. My guess will be is that all the banks will close. They will lock their doors. ATMs will be closed, and they will probably send you a letter of intent to get to, for you to be able to get your money out. So that's the basics to this video. Just take it from somebody who's watching this closely. I really... I can tell you now that I will only leave in my bank account what I need to pay my bills and the rest of it, it's not going to be there. The rest of it's going to be in the bottom of the lake, just like all my firearms is. Speaking of firearms, I did some maintenance to... Uh... So your firearms are in your lake. The fact that you do that is means that you're scared. That's just, well, I lost my firearms in a boating accident. That's a bunch of bullshit. That's a bunch of bullshit. Oh, I lost my, my farms in a boating accident. You really think the feds is going to fall for that? I'm pretty sure the feds are, are moder monitoring what people say, especially the Second Amendment loving guys and girls are saying on YouTube and Facebook. My gosh. Carpenter. Just a while ago, I actually had a extractor pin that was broke and it wouldn't spit out the shells quite like I wanted it to. And I found the little culprit right there. I think y'all can see that. It goes on this side of the gun where that screw is right there. So I got it working flawless. It's, it's slinging them out just like it did back in the early 1900s. And I went ahead and bought a spare. Make sure if you ever have to replace these, you get one that's set on a 45 degree angle. So, got that working fine. Uh, home defense shotgun. That's what I'm going to use it for. It's over 100 years old and it's still rocking today. So, I got that fixed. Fixing to get ready. Trying to rest a little bit. Maybe eat me a bite. Head to work. I got to work for the next two days. So, just wanted to let y'all know the banking system is in turmoil. And uh, with all the new laws and all the new federal agenda that's taking place it's not safe keeping a lot of cash in the bank uh, oh zombie farmer <laughs> fear mongering yet again <clears throat> a good buddy of mine jb always says if you don't have it in your hand if you can't hold it you don't own it and that's the truth so y'all Wow, oh, colossal. Anyways. That's all I got today. Remember CheapGunClub.com. Remember Patreon. Patreon, folks. Come over there and join the community. And basically, folks, just stay safe to the next time. Stay the course. Keep the faith. I'll see my folks on the flip side. I'll see my folks on the flip side, guys. I think it, 
is nothing but a bunch of lies. Boot. Especially, um, oh my gosh. His comment to uh, Dry Fire Faith, not um what two years ago three years ago where he said riding the fence you know is such a bad thing well Corey, because he calls for a civil war, calls for rebellion, yet he says, no, I don't do that. He spreads so much fear. He's, he's fear-mongering, point blank. He calls someone's faith lukewarm, i.e., he said that dry fire faith's uh, faith is lukewarm. And what makes him look like a hypocrite, a contradicting hypocrite. He calls people cockroaches, liberals, the same people who disagree with them, with him. You know, the people who are really pro second amendment, but he also, like NG said, he reeks, of cognitive dissonance. And it's going back to what he said on, oh, you know, people who disagree with him. He calls those people liberals, automatically assumes that they're liberals, and um, calls them cockroaches. But when someone makes fun of him, disagrees with him, he goes on the defense, plays the victim card, and says, Oh, stop making fun of me. Well, guess what? You go around making fun of people, you're going to be made fun of back, pure and simple. Simple as that. You're not above that. That's why, Corey. That's why. He comes, up, he comes across as a good guy, but he can dish it out, you know, make fun of people, but he doesn't like when other other people make fun of him. Just like I said to Spencer Carter before. Don't go around talking shit and expect and you know, see that's the thing. People like Zombie Farmer, uh Spencer Carter, and a few others. It feels like oh, I'm just saying how I feel and all that, even though I'm making fun of people, like Spencer Carter making fun of conservatives and uh, zombie farmer making fun of people like me, NG, Paul, Twiggy Bones, Red Bone Smith, uh, Dry Fire Faith, um, TLR Inc., Tech. He makes fun of people like those people I just mentioned, myself included, and the liberals. But when somebody makes fun of him, oh, that's a problem. Hey, do unto others, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated, right? That simple. Is it not true what I just said? And he made a bunch of lies saying, oh, well, uh, what did he say? He was like, ouch. I, I saw the li live stream. And, uh, he, made up a, he made up a bunch of lies and said, uh, we, as in Freedom Inc., and there's another guy that uh, Zombie Farmer doesn't like. 
zombie farmer tells it like it is, just like I do, just like NG, just like uh, TLR, just like Tech, just like Paul, just like Tweet Bones, just like Dry Fire Faith, uh, Nelson Militia, just like a uh, few others. We tell it like it is. But anyways, speaking of the truth, like I said, the same people who have this anti-Russian sentiment, who who uh, pretty much put Russian the Russian people on blast because of Putin's actions and because of the um, hierarchy's actions of the Russian government and because of the Russian military. So why hold every Russian accountable because of those people's actions. And yet they're the same people after a mass shooting or some police shooting because some police officer or police officers killed some black dude or some black girl. Oh, well, that's racist. They talk about we can't spread hatred, but look what they're doing now. They're spreading hatred against the Russian people. Besides, the Russian people doesn't have a say, doesn't have a say what the Russian government or what the Russian military can and cannot do. That's something a lot of people don't understand. Especially, like, apparently somewhere... I don't know. I, I think it was like out west. Apparently, there's another black dude who was killed by the police. I'm pretty sure Black Lives Matter is going to get on top of that, go back to rioting in the streets, go back to protesting. And there's nothing wrong with protesting. Personally, protesting doesn't work for me. Never did when I went to pro 2A rallies, pro pro freedom rallies it never worked because the powers that be doesn't listen to you they don't listen to us and it's bad enough that we're having so much problems in this country Basically, it comes down to, Corey, it's just you got guys like Zombie Farmer, uh, Coda Boy 32 Tactical, um, Guns and Gadgets, Mill Spec, Mojo, and several others, especially Mr. Guns and Gears, whatever. They spew cognitive dissonance. They keep on saying, we got to contact our representatives. We got to do this. We got to do that. How's that worked out for them so far? But you got guys like Zombie Farmer saying, oh, I'm calling for a rebellion. I'm calling for a civil war. And, of course, you got the same people who have the same mindset as Zombie Farmer. They call for a civil war. But in the end, they will never fight. Depends on what you say, um, NG. That depends. Nah, it's more like gays and gizmos, T Rex. Yeah. <laughs> Gays and gizmos.
or a sandbox, NG. Basically, you're seeing that in in Ukraine. You got the Ukrainians saying, hey, they're saying to the Russians, hey, get out of my sandbox. I mean, they have that right. But I also understand why the Russian military, why Putin decided to attack Ukraine. The only the only uh, part of, the U of Ukraine that has uh, neo-Nazi ties is what's the uh, what's it called? The Ozov Battalion. Yeah, Ozov Battalion. The Ozov Battalion has... Um, you're welcome, Corey. Um, the Ozov Battalion has um, anti-Jewish... Uh, how, how do you pronounce it? Anti-Semitic views, neo-Nazi ideologies, and all that kind of stuff. Um NG, I, I'm gonna. I wasn't gonna answer that for you, but um, but the Patriots over here in the U.S. they're saying, "Hey, get them, get out of my sandbox!" But yet, they keep on redrawing those lines. You see, every time they um they draw those lines, they keep on redrawing those lines after. The powers that be crosses that line that they drew. Thus, they enable and embolden the politicians and the cops to violate their rights even more. Thus, perpetuate the definition of insanity. What's up, Ogun? No, they're not. They're not. The patriots and the liberals are doing nothing. They they think they have a solution, especially, by the way, patriots, if you've seen this, you patriots, like I said, you have a solution to the problem. You're the people saying, you're the same people going around saying, oh, we have a right to overthrow a tyrannical government. Well, there's your solution right then and there. But really... You say you're pro-freedom, but really, what are you going to do with it? And you'd never, you truly never experience true freedom before. Out in, in the Midwest and the West, there's a lot like, there's a lot of uh, Aryan nation, um, Aryan um, Brotherhood uh, um, people out there. Nazism, fascism, communism. Don't agree with three of those, especially Marxism, Leninism, whatever. I don't agree with those. Speaking of which, and from Tanny Yoke. No, it's uh, he lives in Colorado, Paul. Virginia is no better either, even though we have a Virgi uh, Republican in office. And so far, uh, Glenn Youngkin hasn't made any. The only thing he promised was uh, giving the parents the choice which really, the choice lies with, with the children, the teenagers. A child or a teenager has the choice to say, hey, I don't want to wear a mask. 
Hey, I don't want to get vaccinated for COVID-19. I just had to talk about this, the anti-Russian sentiment, people spreading hatred against the Russian people. They're doing they're doing exactly what they preach against. People say, oh, don't don't hate, don't hate, don't spread hatred. But yet they're spreading hatred as we speak. That's a hypocrite. Really, that's a hypocrite. All right, guys. Well, I, I just had to talk about that. So I got to get off here. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Reese's Pieces. <laughs>